Good morning, let's make some eggs. To get started, we have a three and a half inch Lodge cast iron little tiny pan. So this is perfect for making one egg and I'm just gonna show you, I have my burner warmed up. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that your pan is good and oiled, okay? Because cast iron needs seasoned. That's what that's called when you put the oil on there and let it stay, okay? So I have put some butter in there and we're gonna make ourselves one egg. That's the beauty of this little tiny pan. See how small it is? See my hand there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the beauty of this is, you know, you like that little round egg. Maybe you want to make an egg sandwich in the morning, or you just like the shape. Or even if you have kids and this would take you a long time, you'd have to be having fun. But you can make the tiny little silver dollar pancakes like they have in the store. So if it's somebody's birthday and they like little silver dollar pancakes, you can make it with this pan. But we're going to make an egg. So it's heating up there. You see how the butter's bubbling? So mm -hmm. I'm going to get an egg. Yeah, wow. Oh, it looks really good. Even the butter looks good. And we are going to break the egg in there. Okay, here we go. Success. See oh, it, you broke the egg. I it's okay. Egg. <laughs> but <laughs> you see how one egg fits yeah, perfectly wow. in there. Yeah. Right? And it's starting to cook already. Yeah, it's quick. Yeah, it is. And then, like, we'll let it cook a little bit and... Um, show you then how easy it is to get out of the pan because that's one of the things people always wonder oh no if it's non-stick are we going to be able to get the yeah. egg out but we will be because we keep the pan seasoned and buttered it up nicely so interesting we'll let it cook and be back okay we are now ready to take the egg out of the pan this is how i like my egg it still has a little bit of runny yolk there some people would want it all the way cooked um, i like it like this so we're gonna you see like right here the whites mm -hmm. smells cooked, really good too and the yolk is just still a little bit runny so mm. i'm gonna take this off it does have a very small handle. So. Yeah, it's small. And then let's put, take it over here to the plate. Check this out. Wow! Look at that. Wow! Look at that. Perfect. Wow! Right? Perfect. Oh my god, it didn't stick! So that's the thing. If As long as you butter it up nicely, it doesn't stick and you still see there's butter on there. Which is good to see because so nice. that means your food is not absorbing all of the butter. The butter is still staying on yeah. there. So you're getting a little bit, but it's not like you're eating all of the I'm butter so, that you put on wow. there. Wow, I can't believe it didn't stick. So it's great, really. This is, this is, cast iron is really good that way. So we're going to turn off this burner. I'm going to let this cool off, eat my egg, and then I can show you uh, how to clean a pan like this. So I am here eating the egg off this cast iron skillet that we made. There's the skillet. And I just wanted to mention that this is delicious. This egg is so good and it smells so good. Just look at that. I can't believe how good this is. Mmm. 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 Why is it so good? Can you explain why? Because <laughs> the cast iron heats it nicely. It makes a nice crisp outer layer. People really underestimate the quality of the pan and how the food tastes, but it, it heats evenly, so it comes out really good. Yeah, I love it. So good. Oh my God, so good. Amazing pan. Okay, so the pan has cooled down. We've eaten the egg, and in order to clean a pan like this, you're just gonna turn on your cold water, run the water to make sure there's no food debris. So you see there, the food is gone, right? You don't want to use soap because if you use soap, you will take off the seasoning on the pan and the seasoning is what protects the pan from rusting and it also keeps your food from sticking. So you want to keep that oil seasoning on there. And you think, well, yeah, but how am I going to make sure that it's sanitary? We'll show you, that's the drying process. But you see, so we still have the oil coating you can see from the way the water reacts. So this is how you make sure that it's sanitized and dry before you put it away. You take it back over to your burner put it on the, the burner which I have warmed up and it is beginning to dry look at that you nice. can see that the water is beating up and evaporating yes and awesome. so you want to wait until it's completely evaporated and then you will be ready to store your pan and if you continue to take care of your pans like this these will last a lifetime you can pass these down to your great-grandchildren um, cast iron has been around for centuries really and it will continue to be around for a long time. And I think as we mentioned before, another benefit to the pan is that you get iron in your diet because it's a cast iron pan. So your food does have a greater iron content because you cooked it in this pan. You see it's evaporating. Oh, that's really cool. Water, water beads are getting smaller. What a cool pan, makes great food too. That egg was so good. Mm -hmm. So once it's completely dry, you can hang it up or put it in your cabinet or however you like to store your pans and it will last you a lifetime. So it's really easy to care for. A lot of people sometimes say, oh, you don't put soap in a pan, but you see like heating it like this, nothing is going to survive that. Your germs wow. are gone. 
yeah, looks like it's pretty much dry. Yeah. We got a little bit of water right around the edges, so mm -hmm. it doesn't even take very long to do. And one thing that you do need to be careful of is do the handles do get hot, so don't just touch it with your hand. You're going to have to have like a little mitt or something. Um, sometimes they make a little thing you can slide onto the pan, so that's always an option too. You can get a little slide on, then pick it up. So that is one of the things to watch with cast iron. But it's also one of the things that makes them so long lasting is that your handles never break off. So like sometimes you have other pans with a handle that's screwed in and eventually the screw strips out or it rusts and the handle falls off and that's no good. So Will this last forever? This will last forever. I mean, the only thing that breaks down cast iron is sometimes people do not wash them correctly and they rust. But when that happens, you can bring them back to life by taking some steel wool, getting that rust off and seasoning them back up again. So really, you know, apart from being melted down into something else, <laughs> this pan will last you a lifetime as well as multiple lifetimes after you are gone. So you can pass it down from generation to generation. pass it down from generation to generation. <laughs> I'm going to turn the burner off so that it can cool down since we're using an electric burner. It takes a while to heat and cool. So there you have it. The little three and a half inch lodge pan. You can make a perfectly little round egg or something else that you want to make in that shape and have a fun cooking experience with some great tasting food. So I highly recommend these lodged cast iron pans. Good luck.